Today, the Deegan administration devoted some time to looking to the past. Her transition team is working to revive the Jacksonville Journey, a crime-fighting program started back in 2007. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live on the east side where meetings were held. Jim? You know, behind me, this is the Kids Hope Alliance building. And it came about just as the Jacksonville journey was on its way out. But it's here in this building where we could see the journey come back again. In 2007, Jacksonville was the crime capital of the state. And at that time, 16 years ago, many of the victims and criminals were kids. That's why then Mayor Payton formed the Jacksonville journey. We owe it to them to say enough is enough. No more. The journey's goal at that time included intervention, education, and how to pay for more police. Did it work? Well, reports at the time show crime did drop, but the journey's success was questioned by elected leaders and others. After several mayors, the journey changed, eventually morphing into the Kids Hope Alliance. Its primary focus is overseeing after-school and learning programs. Mayor Deegan is now trying to bring back the Jacksonville journey, and that's what one of today's meetings was all about. This is just a subcommittee. Today, it's focused on literacy and discussed how Duval County's low reading scores could be contributing to crime. In fact, there's a high percentage of, of children who, if they only, uh, if they're not proficient readers at the end of third grade, a high percentage end up in dependency or going to jail. Okay, so if we want to stop our crime problem, we've got to start educating our children so they can get out and get a good job and, and, and be productive members of our community. So part of the journey's revival will be literacy, which would involve more reading skill programs after school and in the summer. The committees are also looking at crime prevention measures that could be taken directly into neighborhoods. Well, we've seen some of that in the past with groups like Cure Violence. That's a civilian crime intervention initiative which costs hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, which may or may not be renewed. So again, there was discussion among the board members today, no public comment. And what they're going to do is compile all of their information. They're going to meet a couple more times and then present that to Mayor Deegan, where she'll decide what could happen. You know, we were talking budget earlier. If there's money involved in any of these decisions, of course, it would take some city council approval. For now, we're live on the east side. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.